Hello and welcome to my 10th Blitz 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will go through functions and what functions are. So let's get started. And functions are just small bits of code that you, well, not necessarily small, but bits of code that you can reuse many, many times for your convenience with one simple command. Now, to better for you to better understand this, I'm just going to give you a, a quick example here. And first of all, functions have to be outside the main program. So let's make it outside the main program. And they always start with the function keyword. And after the function keyword, we have the function name. Let's just main, make this name this function something. And after the function name, you have two brackets. And if you have any parameters that the function takes, then you put them in here. But right now we have no parameters. And I'll explain how you can do something with parameters later. It's a bit more advanced. So, well, not really. There are simple examples and hard examples. But for now, just know that you call that just name the function by putting the function name and then the brackets. Just that. And you always end a function by using the command end function. Please note that there is a space here. So, yeah. And function something. And really, all we need to do to call this function with the commands in here is in the main program, all we need to do is write welcome. Or the function that we... Sorry. I was thinking of another function, just the function name and the brackets. And that's it. That's all you need to call your function. And so far this does nothing. We can, there's like lots of functions. You can make a welcome function, a pause function, a reset function, and I'll show you how to do that. Reset function is really easy. It just resets all the variables to zero or their default value. That's just really simple. And then just call it whenever you, you want. And we can just like, Make an example, if key down something, then our function name, then something. <laughs> so let's just make our function be a welcome function. Let's try a welcome function. And our welcome function, let's just state the purposes of our welcome function. It will greet the user, state the purpose of the game, state the purpose, and if you want more, like display graphics, and I'll teach you how to do that later, it can display some kind of image or graphics, I'll teach you how to do that later in my next tutorials, but so far, that was the basic use of our welcome function. And so, and all it's going to do is greet the user, and tell him the purpose of this function. So... This is going to be like a mini program. We're going to set the default size for our welcome function. And let's just make that graphics and the height and width. So let's make it about 400 by 400, just a square, simple shape. And notice I didn't use graphics 3D like we used when we defined our main game here. I used graphics because we're not going to include any 3D content in our function here. Just text. And here we say, let's just make it display some text. 10, 10, welcome. And let's just make a little below that. 10, 20, come. This is a test function. And, yeah, that's it, basically. That's all our program's going to do. It's going to greet the user, welcome, and state the purpose. This is a test function. And to actually make this active, we're going to have to trigger it using a if statement. And since we want to have a really clean program here, we're just going to use a while statement, the same as our while not, our same as our game loop up here, except it's just going to be our function while loop. There can be more than one, of course. 
So while not key down one and wend. Yeah, and here we're just going to say if key down. Let's make it our two key or our one key because key one is our exit key. Then here we're going to say return. And all return does is it returns us to our main screen. Returns us to the next command statement. And yeah, that's just basically all it's going to do. And uh, yeah, I think we just made a quick function here. It's not too big, not too impressive, but it completes its main purposes as a welcome function. So, before we even start our main game, let's just call our function by writing the function name and the brackets. So, now if we run our program, we have a small screen appear here, and then it says, welcome, this is a test function. And now, if we press the 1 key, it returns us to our main game. And, well, not really game, just our for statement array here. And, yeah, that's basically how welcome function works. On pause functions and on other functions, reset functions, I'll go over that stuff later. When we're actually going to make a small three-dimensional game. Uh, and I'll show you the functions that are needed to make the game run normally and successfully. But, basically, that was it on functions. Uh, just make sure you have some fun with it, implement some functions, call them when something happens. Just have some fun with it. Once you see what you can do with functions and call them and how it, it's pretty sweet, it saves your new code. It's just like the welcome function. You can reuse this code many times by just writing welcome in with brackets, like we did here. And, yeah. So, thanks for watching, and... See ya.